Good morning, day four of CES 2018, and I'm here with Ezra Merrill, who's going to talk to us a little bit about the, the FLIR ADK. So, Ezra, I know that um, thermal imaging has been a component of cars, but how does this fit? And tell me a little bit more about what role we've played in that. Right, exactly. I don't think everyone understands this, but there are hundreds of thousands of vehicles on the road today with thermal imagers in it. And the reason that they have these, these thermal imagers in them is that thermal imaging cameras can see about four times further than your headlights. So a standard headlight can see 50, 60 meters in front of the car. These can see up to you know, 260 meters, 280 meters in front of the car. So for safety, you can see way beyond your headlights with thermal imaging. Wow. So, so tell me a little bit more about, about how the ADK fits into that whole, the whole thing. So this, this week we announced the high resolution ADK and they, that uses a uh, much smaller camera that you're showing here. This is the, the Boson with the Intel Myriad, uh, Movidius Myriad 2 chip in it. And this system is developed, has been developed for developers in the space around uh, semi-autonomous or uh, assisted driving as well as up to self-driving vehicles in the future. Wow. So very exciting because what we can do with this is, and you can see this on the screen here, is that with thermal imaging, in addition to be able to see four times further than your headlights, you can also use thermal imaging to detect and to classify what's in the image. So imagine this is the, the view from in front of your car. We're seeing the CS show floor here, but now in front of your car, you can actually uh, classify people, animals, vehicles, bicycles. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. it, so, and how does it fit into the, the whole system here? I think. That's a great question. So if you look at this image here, you can see that these assisted driving systems or ADAS systems, they use a, a broad range of sensors, everything from ultrasound, uh, ultrasonic sensors, radar, LIDAR, a lot of visible cameras, which are, which are really the, the main thing there, um, as well as thermal imaging. And you can see that each of these works together and thermal imaging really complements this, complements this suite of sensors and allows you to see further down the road, making the car much safer and then in the discussions we've had at CES with partners, we found that a lot of people are actually interested in looking further than just down the road, but around the vehicle because you can see people so well. Wow. Very cool. So it looks like there's a live talk starting soon, but thank you so much, Ezra. It's really cool. If they want more information, where, where do they go? You can go to FLIR.com slash ADAS or FLIR.com slash ADK. Awesome. Thank you. Let's just take one more look at the difference, how far we've come. And this uses the towel, right? Uh, yeah, this is a, 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 a different thermal camera core, and, and this is the Boson. The new one. Very yep. cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching.